Creatures that inhabit the city can roam freely at night. This spider stops this lizard in its tracks. down on the lizard, the lizard becomes still. It has caught its prey. It drags the lizard, which is as big as itself, to its den. The lizard's chin has turned black and blue. The bite marks are clearly visible. Sydney funnel web spider strikes a threatening pose. It has two powerful fangs that it uses to hunt with. It has a spinneret on its abdomen. The Sydney funnel web spider is known as the most dangerous spider in the world. Different spiders spin different kinds of webs. It will spin a web that is suitable to its habitat and conducive to catching its prey. This Sydney funnel web spider is spinning a web. Spider silk is thinner than the silk made by silkworms. Spiders produce a liquid from their abdomen that hardens when it is drawn out. It is thin and very elastic, which makes it hard to break. It digs a hole in the ground and covers it with a web. The web it makes is shaped like a funnel. the spider will wait for an unsuspecting creature to pass over the opening. This spider likes damp and dark places. It will make several entrances that are connected to its tunnel. The web lays undisturbed. When the web trembles, it's a sign struggles, the more it gets entangled. Its fate is sealed. However, the cautious hunter moves quickly just in case the prey is able to get away. It grabs the cricket, but every prey will struggle vigorously to free itself. The spider venom is spreading. Just to be sure, the Sydney funnel web spider sinks its fangs into the cricket once more. Living in safe dwellings and having the ability to spin super strong silk along with producing lethal venom will probably allow the spider to survive for many eons if it can continue to transmit these traits through its DNA. this male spider searches for a female. It's the only time when the male will leave its den. Most Australians live in Sydney. 
So spiders will cross paths with humans in the course of their lives. The first time the Sydney funnel web spider was discovered, it was found in a house garden instead of in the wild. How much longer does it need to travel in order to find a female? This spider has lost its way in a man-made city. It stumbles into the wrong place. Driven by its mating instincts, it crawls into a sneaker, which is similar to a spider den. For now, the spider has failed to find a mate. Does it still have a chance to mate? The inability to adapt to the environment will lead to extinction. That has been nature's law since the dawn of life. However, humans have altered the landscape and changed it to their liking unlike other species. It's only been 300 years since the first city emerged in Australia. Now the continent down under has changed a lot. It has changed in what amounts to a blink of an eye in the history of the planet. The male Sydney funnel-web spider has adapted to an urban environment. But can it find a mate here as well? Will it be able to transmit its genes down to the next generation? a radical shift in the environment, chaos will take place in the ecosystem. Some species will become endangered and vanish, while others may be at an advantage and flourish. Then there are the ones that will adapt to this new environment and evolve into something entirely different than what it used to look like. This is evolution. into the coral on which it is attached to, this octopus is waiting to launch an ambush attack. It trains its eye on a shrimp. Something alarmed the octopus, making it glow with ring-like features. These rings are why the octopus is called the blue-ringed octopus. finally settled down. Now it moves towards the shrimp. Aristotle said octopuses were smart animals. To see an octopus hunt will give you an appreciation for its intellect. The blue-ringed octopus' first line of offense is its arms. 
but it carries a venom that can instantly paralyze its prey. The venom it uses is similar to that of the blowfish. It has short legs. Even when extended, they are only about 20 centimeters in length. Despite these shortcomings, it will not give up easily on hunting the shrimp. Perhaps the shrimp's fierce response elicits this mild blue camouflage. It can propel itself forward by pushing water through its tube. 